So this is Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop 42, and this is the beta version. So I'm going to download and install this operating system in a desktop computer. So I already created a bootable USB drive with Rufus. So this is the welcome menu. I'm just going to browse it through. I'll click next. So I'll open up the installation. So here's the language. I'm going to leave it as English. Yes, keyboard settings, time and date, system. So this is the hard drive. So I'm going to delete all. On the root account, I'll enable the root account. I'll type a password. I'm going to leave this unchecked, allow root SSH login or password. I'll select user creation, I'll create a user account. And I'm going to leave these two boxes checked. I'll select begin installation and it's installing. So installation is complete. I'm going to log in. So I'll open the application launcher. So this is favorites. This is all applications. So as you can see under every app, there's an explanation. For example, problem reporting, it says view and report application crashes. Spectacle, it's a screenshot capture utility. This is deployment. This is education. This is games. This is graphics. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is office. This is system. This is utilities. So next at the application menu, there's places and there's sleep, restart, shutdown, leave. And these are the options here. This is system settings. So I'm going to change the team to breeze dark. So they are listed by categories here. There's input and output. Connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspace, security and privacy, language and time, system. This is the Discover software app. So this is the Dolphin File Manager. I'll open Firefox. Let's see what version of Firefox this is. So the version of Firefox is 135.0. So I'll right click the desktop. I'll select desktop and wallpaper. And these are some of the wallpapers.
So I'll right click the panel. So to change the position of the panel, I just have to click on the position icon and I'll move the panel to the left. I'll select the right arrow. So I'm going to leave it as default at the bottom. I'll right click the panel again. I'll select show alternatives. And these are the alternative widgets. I can also select add or manage widgets. I can also search for widgets here. I'll drag this widget to the desktop. So I'll open the Dragon Player. I'll open the system monitor. So on the lower right side, this is the time and date. This is status and notifications. This is the network icon. So this is brightness and color. This is the volume icon. And this is the notifications icon. So I'm going to open the console app. So I'm going to install VLC Media Player. Because VLC Media Player is not installed. I'll increase the font size. So I'll type this command to install VLC Media Player. I'll type sudo dnf install vlc. So VLC Media should be installed. So I'm going to enable the cube feature and to do that I'm going to open system settings. On the apps and windows I'm going to select windows management. I'll select virtual desktop. So there's one virtual desktop. I'm going to add five more. So there's six virtual desktop. I'll select desktop effects. I'll scroll down until I see Windows Management. So under the Windows Management, this is Cube. I'm going to select it. Click Apply. So these are the virtual desktops here on the panel. So to activate the Cube feature on the keyboard, I'm going to hold the Super key and the C key. So this is the Cube feature. So I'll open Fedora Media Writer. So I'm going to run an update. I'll type sudo dnf update. So this was just a quick overview of Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop 42 beta version. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.